There are times when you have to rescue your own plants. And it just so happens that this is one of those times when I realize I've neglected my spider plant to a point where it's losing its color, which means it's not getting very much light. And you can see how it's leaning over. Um, and I probably haven't been watering it as well as I should. So I'm gonna repot it, reposition it. I have a new open spot for a plant that needs more light. And I'm gonna see um, and document the changes of my sad spider plant and see if we can't get it looking healthy and also maybe sprouting some little, you know, plantlets. I've got a couple here, but you know, they're not healthy either. So let's um, get it repotted and get it repositioned. There we are in our new pot, um, starting fresh. We'll see if we can't get this color to come back. It's really bleached and sad. So I'm gonna water it. I'm gonna amend the soil because I use a lot of the old soil. I'm probably gonna use some of my insect frass um, because it's not super strong and won't shock it. You never really want to fertilize a sick plant, but I think the insect frass will be good because it's not super potent and I think it'll just give it a little bit of a boost, a little bit of an immune boost, so. Okay, so we're all watered with our insect frass and we'll check back in, I don't know, probably four weeks and see what has changed, if anything. So, see you in a few weeks. So it has been two months exactly to the day that I repotted my spider plant and moved it to a more sunny location. And you can just tell, look at how much darker green the colors are. It's so much more rich. I mean, obviously we've still got some problems, but that's just from my neglect. Um, I even got this pup here that's doing really well, looking super um, healthy or much healthier and about ready to propagate it. So I just wanted to give a quick update, a little two month update. Um, and I think the next thing I'm gonna do is work to maybe propagate this little guy and see if I can't um, get another spider plant going. So a lot of times people will do is that they'll stick this while it's still attached to the mom plant on some soil and let it root up while it's still attached, which I always think is a really good idea, but I just don't know how I can physically do that with this plant. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to gently remove this little pup and um, I might try water propagating it to get some roots and then I'll plant it to soil. So, let's see if I can. Okay, got him. 
let's put it in some water and see if we can get some roots going. Okay, I've got my little pup. I've got my little jar that I like to use for propagating. And it's just gonna, hopefully, whoops, sit right in there. Hmm, need a little more water. Whoa. Got a little crazy there. Okay. So can you see that in there? So I just have the bottom just kind of sitting in the water. That's it. Just a little bottom nub in there. And I'm going to set it in my windowsill and um, wait for some roots. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Until the next update in a few weeks. Adios. We're looking at about a week here. And look at those roots already. Honestly, it had roots about a day or so after I put it in the water. So easy to propagate. I really think that spider plant is probably the easiest and best plant for beginners. So that is it for this plant rescue. Thank you for sticking around and checking out my spider plant that is hopefully on the mend. I think it, I think it's on the mend. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun plant projects that I'm currently working on. Um, I got some other plant rescues planned. Um, also follow me on Instagram where I post little fun updates and uh, other plant pictures. And check out my website, suburbansill.com for more plant posts and fun plant information. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.